We're here at Oakwood Cemetery in Waco, Texas. It was established here in 1878. And we're here today to visit the grave of the person who it invented Dr. Pepper, Charles Alderton. And then we're going about three or four miles down the road to the museum, Waco. Dr. Pepper Museum. This is a huge cemetery and we're in section B1 right at where these roads cross. And to find them, you have to look for this big giant tree. I'll pan around. Here's another road. So there's several roads that run in into this section. But we're in section B1. And you can see there's a bench up here that you can sit on. But if you go right towards the tree, we should find them. Should be right near the bench, and here he is, C.C. Alderton. June 21st, 1857, May 29th, 1941, C.C. Alderton. He's right in front of the bench, and the bench also has uh, Allison, Roy, and Carol Allison. And right under the tree is McBay. And once again, right here from the road, I'll pan around. C.C. Alderton. We're on our way now to the Dr. Pepper Museum to check out the history of Dr. Pepper and C.C. Alderton. Here's the view from the street where it looks like one, two, three, four roads intersect. And there's the giant tree where we were just at. We're at the Dr. Pepper Museum in Waco, Texas. We are open. No smoking, weapons, firearms, scooters, vaping, soliciting, Coke or Pepsi on the premise. Thank you. Guess they don't want Coke or Pepsi.
Thirst Aid Station. This is a replica of the drugstore. Charles Alderton was a pharmacist and worked at Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore, which had a soda fountain. He combined 23 ingredients with phosphoric acid and he did it in 1885. He was first called Shoot Away Bill. Alderton gave the formula to the owner of the store, Wade Morrison. He named it Dr. Pepper. The origin of the name Dr. Pepper is unknown. There are several stories, but the museum was unable to verify any of them. In 1891, the Artesian Manufacturing and Bottling Company started making Dr. Pepper. The company moved from Waco to Dallas in 1923 and currently there is no bottling plant in Waco.
probably owns the bank, but you take it anyway. When a bonder made a deal, the other told him we'd fall over the brand. So if he's successful, we will be successful. And that is the standard that first of all. Now I want to tell you a little secret about how I load these bottles. You see, I rebuilt dozens of soda coolers every day at every store on my delivery route. One day, I was watching people get their bottles out of the cooler, and I noticed that a right-handed person lifts the lid with their left hand, 